What I'm using for this part of the job is a quarter inch ratchet drive. I'm using a one inch extension and a seven millimeter. Uh, 932s will work. First thing you're gonna wanna do is go after the bolt that's in the back, back here hiding. Uh, so, and it can be a little bit of a pain for people who have big hands, uh, but you're just gonna wanna take uh, your combination that you put together and go up in underneath here. And there's a, a little pocket that this fits up into. I'll let you see here. See how that goes up into that little pocket. There's a nut in there, you're gonna have to get that one unscrewed. We'll start there. Next, you're gonna to wanna to remove the center bolt. It's here. And finally, uh, the bolt that's closest to the passenger door. Let's go ahead and remove that now. Here's a quick tip. You might find that a 932s or a seven millimeter just long socket uh, reaching back in that one pocket um, way back in there. Uh, if you may find that using that uh, and just hand threading it so far to get it tight instead of having the ratchet on it might work a little better because it is pretty tight in this little area. So there's a little tip for you. Finally, once you get the kick panel drop down, uh, if you're unlucky like me and discover that apparently they stopped making it for the 2003 GMC Yukon XL, uh, what you would typically see right here is um, here from this position looking inside, uh, looking inside there's the glove box. We're just going to go right down under here. Uh, you can see your fan. Uh, you can see uh, electronic module uh, runs up to a computer. Uh, anyway, just next to this module, there's this, uh, there's this, see this cutout, this, uh, this stamp out in the plastic, this long, like, stamp out. Well, typically this right here will have a, a metal bracket that just kind of fits on there tight, and it snap clips sometimes in the back, or sometimes to the front you'll see a hardware where it'll come apart. Anyway, you typically, you just drop that down, and then... Uh, you slide your two filters down out there. There's actually one uh, that just slides in and then to the to the forward position and then a second one that just goes straight in. So uh, when you're taking them out, what you do is you just drop the one down and then you just got to kind of get your fingers up in there and slide and reach and slide the next one forward and down and out. So if you want to check to see if yours has it or not, this is the process to do it. Um, and if you do have them, definitely change them. Uh, anyway, to put it back together, it's just the exact opposite at this point. Uh, if you did have the filters, uh, like I said, you drop the bracket down, put your new filters in, uh, put the bracket back up. The holding uh, tensioner clip basically is what it would be, I guess. Anyway, you'd put that back up, and once that's up, then you just reverse the process to get your panel and, and, and kick your panel back up in there and put your bolts back in, and you're good to go. Uh, yeah, I hope this helps somebody, and I'm glad I know now that I do not have a air cabin air filter.